Hi, I'm Tavleen from WooFunnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce checkout flow that leads to more conversions. In short, we will learn how to create a credible looking WooCommerce checkout page with an order value maximizing order bump. Now, when you're creating a checkout page for your online course, you need a section to enter your headline, something which is compelling and inviting instead of the robotic, have a coupon code, click here to enter. You also need a well-presented section detailing what they get after they complete their purchase. You should be able to enter some bullet points explaining them what the deliverables of the product are. This will help you reinforce the benefits of buying. You also need a nice spot that grabs attention to enter some testimonials. Just in case some people are developing cold feet, social proof can help close the sale. Furthermore, you want to be able to remove fields that you do not need. For example, the shipping details field in case you're selling an online course. Add some new fields and rearrange them to show them in the exact order you want. I want to be able to collect email before everything else so that I can follow up in case they abandon. Is that too much to ask for? Well, if you ask me, not really. A drag and drop field editor is a basic requirement. But doing all of this in WooCommerce means writing lots of code, copying, pasting lots of code snippets. And that, in short, is a course creator's nightmare. Finally, who doesn't want to direct their new buyers onto a thank you page from the checkout that looks on brand and inspires trust. Most importantly, it carries forward the conversation instead of leaving them on a dead end. When you use WooFunnels with your favorite page builder, all of this becomes a breeze. So I will show you exactly how to create a credible WooCommerce checkout flow that boosts your conversions and raises your average order value. Excited? Well, let's dive right in. So the first thing is to have WooFunnels installed and activated in your WooCommerce store. Once you have that under WooFunnels, you'll find the option to go on to funnels. Right now, what you're seeing is the dashboard, which kind of gives you the bird eye view of what's going on in your store, how the funnels are performing and the revenue that they are generating. One nifty feature, you can also view the revenue per contact, your top performing opt-ins, the top performing checkouts and so on. Let's now click on funnels. Now here you'll see a list of all the funnels that you've created on your WordPress website. Let's go and add a new funnel. Now on this page here, you'll see under Elementor, you have a bunch of templates to choose from. You can choose any of the templates that you like. You can filter the templates by sales and opt-in. If you're going to be using a page builder other than Elementor, that's fine too. You can hit custom and create your own funnel using the page builder you love. All right, so let's go on and click on create your funnel. Now, here you'll see there is no default step added, so let's add a new step. I'll choose a checkout page since we're going to be doing a one page checkout. You could also do a sales page and just call it the sales page. And then add a checkout page. So that's a two-step funnel, users will land on the sales page, maybe through an ad or through your email, and then go on to the checkout page on clicking on the button on the sales page. Now let's go on into sales page here. When you click on edit, you'll find a bunch of templates for sales page. You can choose one of them. We'll go with the persuader and we'll stick with that. I'd not go into edits for now. I'm going to go back to my funnel. Of course, let's name it as well. We'll call it the one page checkout for our course LinkedIn Edge. 
and here we'll go on edit so that's the checkout again I can choose a template that I like so I will go with the persuader template and the template has been imported Now, as you can see that it says there are no products and no bumps, that's all right. So let's click on edit once again. And over here, your selected template will show up under the design section. In the products, well, you can add the product. So I'm going to go hit add product and I'm going to search for the course. There you go. So it's a $69 course. It's already a WooCommerce product. It's added. It's a virtual product. So I do not have to configure the shipping and all of those fields. If I want, I can offer an additional discount, maybe a 10% off on the checkout. Now in the fields tab, we're going to get rid of uh, the fields that we do not need uh, simply by hitting the delete. So this will delete the section, which is the shipping method section. We can also get rid of your products because we just have one course uh, added to their cart. Order summary, again, we don't need it. So we're going to get rid of these. And now shipping address, again, that's something we don't need. We start with the email so that that's the first thing that we collect, followed by first and last name. Phone number, I can get rid of that and billing address as well. What I will instead do is create a new section and I'm going to call it billing details, add section. And over here, I'm going to add the billing address. So I do not need shipping, but yes, I do need billing. I'm going to add one more step. So this will be a two step checkout form for me. And there you go. So step two is for the payment details and step one is for basic contact information and billing details. Once that's done, you can save the changes and move over to the optimizations tab. In the optimizations tab, you can enable Google address autocomplete, which uh, lets them enter a few initial characters of their address and then uh, they get shown a list of best matches. They can select their address from the list. Further, there's also smart buttons for express checkout via Stripe, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal Express and Amazon Pay. All of that is, of course, optional, but these are amazing optimization hacks which allow you to further boost your checkout page conversions. Now, let's go back to the design tab. Now, let me show you the page and how it appears. All right, so as you can see, the template persuader has loaded in Elementor and of course you can edit it to make it look the way you want. You can customize all the colors, the patterns, the design, whatever else you want. This is the checkout form right here. And this is the checkout form widget built by WooFunnels for your WooCommerce checkout page. You can edit, customize the checkout form however you like. Now, this checkout form has been made to capture as many emails as we possibly can because it just asks users to enter their email, their first and last name and proceed to the next step. Now, when they enter their email, even if they do not complete the purchase, we will have captured their emails. This is called the live cart capturing feature. All right, so let's explore some of the settings of the checkout form widget. Here you can enable steps, choose from breadcrumb and tabs. This is how that will appear. If you want, you can stick with tabs. You can change the heading and the subheading here. Let's make it contact information. And uh, let's just make it your details or your basic details, whatever you want. Uh, then uh, this is shipping. Well, this is a virtual product. So we will just say payment. Choose your payment method. So there you go. So that's how it will appear. 
and uh, they can proceed to the next step by clicking on this button right here. Of course, from here, you can even, uh, you know, sort of change the width of your form fields. Like this could be one half. If you have more fields, you might want to change the width. So that option is available. You can change all of these width from here as well. So here we have these fields. So when you proceed to the next step, we also have billing details because in the field section here for step two, I've also added billing details apart from the payment gateway. If you want, you can get rid of it completely. Well, that option is always there. If you click on edit, you have the option to change the section name. The section name is what appears right here. So this is what gets changed from the back end in the fields tab. That's step two. And this is step one. That's contact information. Again, if you do not want the last name, you can remove it from here. You can make edits. You can add a placeholder. You can mark it as required. Or if you don't want, then just uncheck this box. Again, if you want to change the, the button text, uh, then this is the section to do that. Well, return to customer information. That's step one. Proceed to next step. From here, you can change it, go to next step or whatever. And when they go to the next step, place order now, that's place order now. This is from where you can change it. Collapsible order summary, that's great for mobile. If you enable it, then uh, users will be able to see uh, the collapsible order summary like that. And only when they tap on it, will it show, otherwise it won't. That's really handy to conserve space. So if you only want to enable collapsible order summary on the mobile, well, you can just select mobile from the devices here. And that's how your WooCommerce checkout page will appear on a mobile device. Very nifty. To change any of the colors and make this page look on brand, go on style. And from here, you can change all the colors that you want. So that's the tab border color. That's the count background color, which is this one. And this could change to whatever else that you like, whatever goes with your brand. This is from where you set the border radius. Let me just set it to five or 10 and let me show you how that will be. So yes, you can see there's a bit of border radius that has come up. Yep, that's back to zero. Now let's make modifications to our text. So the headline will be build a client attracting LinkedIn profile. Well, that's hope, right? We're helping generate hope in the user's mind. We're carrying forward the conversation from the sales to the checkout page. And we haven't designed a bland default WooCommerce checkout, which does nothing except for asking for payment. We're actually attempting to really take the conversation forward and not put a full stop there. Then the bullets on the side, well, let's see how they will go. So we'll say, here's what you get when you order LinkedIn Edge today. And again, there's a promise in this line. We're promising them that this is what you're going to get when you complete the process of making the payment. Word for word scripts for cold outreaches. No more wondering what to say and how to say it. Pick a script, modify and run with it. Now, it's not that we haven't specified what they will get with their purchase on the sales page, but we're reinforcing it on the checkout, especially if they've missed it. Well, this is where they can read in a gist. The second bullet goes, instant access to my LinkedIn lead manager. Use it to manage your leads and know when to follow up. Then 500 plus ideas to create LinkedIn articles, attract the right people and make your profile look trustworthy. Finally, access to LinkedIn profile supercharged bonuses worth 497. So again, we're logically convincing them that you know what, you're not making a deal which makes you look bad. You're actually making a pretty damn uh, smart deal. Only at 69, you're getting bonuses worth 497, which is crazy. Now you can add testimonials to the section below it. You can add your guarantee and that's the final close. This is it. Your page is now ready to convert your uh, visitors into customers.
That's it. Once you've edited your checkout page, you can edit your sales page as well just by clicking on this button to edit step. Now, this is the pre-selected sales page template. This is the persuader template that we just selected. You can edit it out in Elementor. And once you're happy with it, you're good to go. Now, this is the next step link. You can copy this link and paste it on the CTA button of this sales page. Automatically, people will be directed to the next step in the funnel. This basically saves you from the hassle of selecting the checkout page link and pasting it on the CTA button of your sales page. Now to maximize the order value of your funnel, you can add a bump. So we're just gonna go hit add bump. Let's just call it order bump for LinkedIn course or whatever you like. Uh, yep. So that's the bump, it has got added, it says no product, so that's fine. We're gonna go hit edit and add a product here. So I already have a virtual product, which makes for a great bump. It's the LinkedIn Post Writing Masterclass, and it's a $99 product. I'm gonna offer a nice 30% off on the bump. So in the design section, well, you can uh, sort of change the skin to a different, uh, to a different option. So you have a few options for the skin. I'm going to choose this one in the content section. You can add the short description, description, and so on. So I already have a bit of description written for it. So here I go in the long description. I do not want a description so I can get rid of that now. So this is how this looks. This order bump looks on the checkout page. Users can add it with a single click. And this $99 product will get added to their checkout. This is where the price of the product will appear. So that's that. Let me go back further. You can add a new step and you can add one click upsell to your uh, funnel. In this case, it could be a strategy session, a high value strategy session priced at, let's say, $499 and you can add to offers further. The final one will be your thank you page. So there you go. So that's your funnel created. And here you can go on edit, add product for your one click upsell, add an offer. Uh, once the offer is added, you can go on to design and then design your uh, one click upsell page. So let me just show you how that works. So I'm just going to call it masterclass. That's the offer. Add product. I'm just going to select the same product for now just to show you how it goes. So there you go. The product has been added. If you want, you can configure a discount here. And uh, yes, so that's the offer that we have. Uh, and uh, once you're satisfied, you can just hit the toggle and turn it green. These are some of the options for your one click upsell. Once you're done with that, you can go on design and uh, pick a template, customize it and go with whichever one you like. We have quite a few ready made templates for your one click upsell pages. That's it. So this is your funnel now. So you have the sales page and uh, checkout with an order bump. You have a one click upsell and the thank you page. There you go. Well, that's it for this video. I showed you how to create a WooCommerce checkout page with an order bump, a series of one click upsells and downsells, and finally the WooCommerce thank you page. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, let me know in the comment box below. Also, if you have a question, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. That will encourage us to post more videos and more hands-on tutorials like this one. I will see you in my next. I'm Tavleen and I am signing off.